as you likely know by now, it's Pride Month and communities across Maine are finding fun ways to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community and many are also making efforts to let every child and adult feel accepted. Our Alex Haskell joins us live this morning to share with us the colorful and wild way, really, one city is doing just that. And I have a sense it involves animals. Is that right, Alex? <laughs> Tori, I think you're right. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, in Ellsworth, there are a bunch of animals on the loose, but no need to worry. It's all part of a Pride Zoo art display. It's how the community is recognizing Pride Month after an idea proposed by Ellsworth High School teacher Carrie Cutney and her students was shot down by city councilors. We were discussing what can we do to celebrate pride during a pandemic. And one of the students suggested painting a rainbow crosswalk similar to Bangor's. Rainbow crosswalks are a common sight every June, but that idea was denied last year by the Ellsworth City Council over safety concerns, despite the main Department of Transportation allowing rainbow crosswalks with some restrictions. It, it was it was frustrating. That's when she got a phone call. Someone from Orono, Cami Carter, who started the Orono Pride Zoo, called me and asked if we would like to host the Orono Pride Zoo to you know for support to put around Ellsworth. And now in the city's Knowlton Park, leopards and cows and bears, but no need to say oh my. As a teacher, I think that it's so important that all of our students feel seen and loved and represented. Kimmy Carter, vice president of the Orono Pride Board, says these visual depictions of pride do just that. They say, like, we see you, we love you, um, you belong here in our community, and we're so happy that we are all together and embracing each other. Since her offer, Ellsworth has united to grow the Pride Zoo. We've had parents and students and just general community members um, make all of these sculptures. Ben Snow is one of those students. Pretty awesome. Um, general, what I've heard is that people are pretty excited um, and it's just kind of a, a nice way to show that the community cares. The artwork is designed to not only celebrate the LGBTQ plus community, but to raise awareness as well. Students in the LGBTQ community suffer more bullying and harassment and um, mental health issues and all kinds of things, homelessness, um, than students who are cisgender or straight. And that's something that we really wanted to get to the root of. And to help create a more equal and inclusive Maine. And I want that for my students and my children. Now, Cutney and several adults in town have gone together to form Ellsworth Pride. There will be a kids-friendly Pride Festival in the city on Sunday, June 13th. We have more details on the event and other Pride events happening this month all across the state on our website and mobile app. Live in studio this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.